My name is Corey. Not Corey with the Y or Corey with the EY. Corey. C O R I. A usually feminine spelling of a name for a guy. Not that I mind much of what spelling or what my parents gave me. A few years ago, I had just been let go from my first job out of college. It had been pretty good money, but the company went under. So I started applying to every job I could find as you do. Indeed, Monster, even Craigslist. One Craigslist job in particular was based on the outskirts of the city I lived, but I was ready to take anything. The job in question was some basic data entry and assistant work. At least, that had been what the job listing said. I thought it was on the up and up, however, because this was one of the few Craigslist postings that had a website attached to it. It was a pretty basic website in retrospect, but the company message seemed to make it sound like they were heavily about serving the city and facilitating volunteer work. Within minutes of applying, I got a response inviting me for an interview that same day. Though, it titled me as Miss Corey. I was going to respond to correct them, but it read that it was an automated response, so there would be no one to read it. I figured I'd just have to correct them once I got there, and again, didn't seem like a big deal. I'd gotten this once or twice before. I drove to the location the company website was listed, and it didn't seem too out of the ordinary. It was the second floor of a small building that was sandwiched in between a pawn shop and a phone store. I didn't think too much of it because this was a big city, and even if this was on the outskirts of the city, a job was a job. I looked up to the second floor on the outside and saw someone looking down at me. I couldn't make out the face, but it was a person. That much I'm sure of. I went inside of the building and took the elevator up to the second floor and didn't find a single soul. It looked like a half-finished office floor from what I remember, with some doors open and some locked shut. But there was simply no one to speak to, no one to inform that I was here. There was one cubicle, but one of the detachable walls had been left in another office room. There was a computer monitor in one room, but no desktop attached to it, a half-finished company banner and a bookcase. Upon closer inspection of the bookcase, all the books weren't books at all, but a cardboard printing of a bunch of books stacked together. I finally had enough and called the phone number that had been on the website, but I heard no phone ringing from where I stood. More so, the phone I called seemed to cut my call off after a ring and a half, sending me straight to voicemail. Sufficiently creeped out by now, or wondering if I stumbled on something I shouldn't have. I took the elevator down. As the elevator doors closed, I heard someone muttering angrily. I thought that was a girl's name. I didn't want to stay to find out who said it. Instead, I walked right back to my car and drove back home, not even daring to look back up at the window of the floor I was sure I had been scheduled for. That very evening, out of morbid curiosity, I checked Craigslist. The posting was gone. I looked for the website. It had been disabled. To this day, I still wonder, what or who did I stumble on? My greatest regret is not calling the police about this.